Last week on Tech Tuesday, we looked at how to spot a phishing email and how to keep your password secured. Today, we'll continue talking about passwords and we will look at how to find your auto-filled passwords. Oftentimes, when you go to web services like Schoology or PowerSchool, your password is auto-filled. While this is a helpful feature, sometimes when we need to log into the service on a different computer uh, or the auto-filled password somehow got scratched, we don't know what to do. Uh, we don't commit the password tell memory any longer because it gets auto-filled. So today, we'll have a look at four uh, things where your passwords can be stored and how to access them. First thing, we'll have a look at where your password's stored in Google Chrome. After that, we'll have a look at where your passwords are stored in Safari browser. After that, we'll have a look at your MacBook. And finally, we'll have a look at the iPhone and where the autofill password's stored on your mobile device. Let's get started with Google Chrome. First thing is to go to the settings by clicking on these three dots and then settings. Under the settings, go to autofill and then password manager. If you scroll a little bit down, you will see all the services that Google Chrome has login information for. You will see a column with the service, then your login will be here, and then the password will be here. If at any point you want to see what is the password for the service, the quickest way to do that is to, is to use the search password. Let's imagine I want to retrieve a password for my power school. I will type in power school and the password manager will find the power school. For the case, it will show me my username and my password. To view the password, simply click on the password. To keep your password secured, Google Chrome will ask you to input your computer password. This is the password that you put in when you turn on your computer. So let's, let's do that now. Once you've put in your computer password, you will be able to click on this icon here and your password for the service will be revealed here. Let's now have a look at how to take the same steps in Safari. First thing, click on Safari in the menu bar up top right here. Safari, then settings. Under the settings, go to passwords. Again, to keep your password secured, Safari will ask you to input your computer password or you can use the uh, touch ID. So I'm gonna do that. Right here, you will see all the services that Safari has access to. In other words, all the services where the auto field knows your password. In this example, I have my password saved for chess.com. You will have your username right here and you will see the password right over here. Let's now have a look at how you can uh, look at the autofill passwords on your Mac computer. A good example would be a password to a Wi-Fi or to a network. Every time you are connected to the Wi-Fi, you don't have to put in the password if you were connected before, but what if you want to connect on a different device? So this is a good case um, to retrieve the password. So let's see how to do that. On the Mac computer, your passwords are saved uh, in an application called our keychain access. There are, there are a couple of ways to access keychain. My preferred one is to go to the spotlight by pressing command space and typing keychain access. Um, there are other ways to go uh, to the keychain. If you are in Finder, you can click on go, then applications. Then on the applications, go to utilities. And then we have the keychain access right here. To find out a password for the desired Wi-Fi network, simply look for the Wi-Fi network here. This is the staff network that I normally connect to at school. If I double click on this network, it will show me my credentials. And then right here on show password is where I can reveal my password. Again, to keep your password secured, Keychain will ask for the computer password one more time. When once I enter my computer password, Keychain will show me a password for the Wi-Fi network that I'm interested in. Let's now have a look at how we can see autofill passwords on our mobile device, on our iPhone. Let's go to settings. In settings, in the search, look for autofill. Click on autofill passwords. 
Again, to keep your password secured, iPhone will ask you for the passcode or the Touch ID in this case. And this is where autofill passwords for all the applications will live. You can scroll down to see all the applications and if you're interested in a specific one, simply click on it and this is where you will be able to see the password for this specific app. Today we've looked at how to retrieve your autofill passwords from Google Chrome, Safari, your MacBook and your iPhone. Next time we'll learn a few tricks how to make your Google Chrome experience more streamlined. We'll learn about groups and pins. Stay tuned for another edition of the Tech Tuesday and thank you for your attention today.